Hi neighborinos, what's going on? Um, I just wanted to make a video t like telling you about my experience. Like it literally just happened. Never a dull moment. Okay, I'm still sitting here in the parking lot of Walmart. Okay, so I'm with my baby and we're shopping and it's all good. I walk out after I pay for everything and there's like this homeless man um, sitting there and he's uh, I said um, oh you know don't worry it gets better or something like that and he was like well I was reading his sign but I like read it out loud I'm like oh, but anything helps well, I'm like oh okay and he was like yeah I've been sitting out there since 11 and I've only got like $17 and I was like well I don't have any cash on me sorry I'm like you should carry one of those little swipey things or whatever so people won't have an excuse to blow you off say all I have is credit card and then you say don't worry I have a credit card swiper <laughs> but anyway so um, <clears throat> so I tell him I didn't have any money and he said can you buy can you give me a rotisserie and I was like like a like a chicken and <laughs> and it, it doesn't help that he was black but that's I'm not being racist I was just like it was just an observation but um so I was like you want me to buy you like a rotisserie chicken is that what you're asking and he was like yeah and I'm like sure why not like I'm a human being I have a heart like I've been homeless I know how it feels sometimes you just want like something to eat so um I had like I said I just walked out from paying everything and I go to my Walmart fre quite frequently because um, when you buy fresh produce and stuff like you kind of have to shop every single or every other day right so I walk in and I'm like hey Miguel you know I just went shopping because my cart's full of bagged food um, and I said but I want to get my friend here a rotisserie chicken is that okay and he was like yeah sure and I was like all right so we're walking and I said I'm gonna get in line um, you go grab the chicken and then I'll you know come back and I'll pay for it so he goes can I get a drink and I was like sure right there like literally like right in front of us was like a little um, in the middle aisles they have those you know product of the day or whatever deals and it was a whole one liter of um, there was like lemonade and like tea and all this kind of stuff and I was like, yeah, look, it was a dollar. So I was like, yeah, grab grab a drink right there. So he goes, oh, um, I want diet tea. It's in the back. And I was like, really? You're literally a beggar and you're literally cho being choosy. Isn't the saying beggars can't be choosers? Um, no, but he was totally begging and choosing. And I was like, like, bro, I'm like going out of my way like I was leaving the store on my way to have a you know the rest of my day and you come at me with this you know this sad story and I'm like taking it upon myself to help you out and now like I said sure you can get a drink and now oh that drinks not good enough for you, you got to get the ones in the back like the three dollar drinks you know I'm like I told him I said um, well I'm gonna stand in line you go get the chicken I was like, whatever, dude. And then he comes back. Like, he's like dilly-dallying, by the way. He's like shuffling his feet. I'm like, dude, hurry up. Like, I'm like trying to be nice and like go out of my way to like help this man. And he's just like, if you're going to be like homeless and like begging or whatever, be convenient for the person that's helping you. You know what I mean? So um, he got back. He got in line. And I said, well, maybe you can go grab, there's a subway in our Walmart. And I said, well, maybe you can go grab like um, a water from the subway and they get forks and knives and some napkins. He's like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. So he like walks off to get the forks and knives. But I'm just like sitting here thinking, really bro? Like I sat there and gave you an opportunity to get a full one liter of lemonade or tea or whatever you wanted that was a dollar okay to go with your rotisserie chicken and it wasn't good enough for you you had to get greedy and want the ones in the back of the store that was totally not convenient for me like hello I'm I'm walking out like I have things to do with my day you know my whole day isn't just revolving around feeding the hungry because if it was I'd volunteer on my fucking local soup kitchen you know what I mean so I'm just like floored with like the audacity of this man and I'm just like 
I think I got like one thank you. If someone bought me a rotisserie chicken, if I was sitting out there begging, you best believe I'd be like, you know, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you're a lifesaver. They don't make people like you anymore. You're one in a million, da da da. Just like, super grateful, but he thank seemed- you mommy, thank you for mommy. Okay, okay. But he seemed like he was just like, I don't know, like suckering in another white girl to get me some chicken and yeah, and some lemonade or some iced tea. I don't know, it was super weird. So I just thought I'd tell you guys about it while it was fresh on my brain. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please become one of my Thank neighbors you, down below you, and mommy. tumble down the rabbit hole with me on this crazy journey through life. I love you guys. You, Silas, say bye everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Have a great day. I love you guys. Bye.